this video, I will demonstrate you how to catch a pike on a jig fly or a chub fly, should I say. And also, I will demonstrate how you can make this kind of lure yourself. Okay, guys, as you can see, I have that fly on. Kind of, it works very, very interesting as you can see when i flap it on the water it kind of starts sinking not immediately it just kind of hangs out on the top for a while so and as i'm fishing in the like very weedy canal or a drain i think that's that's a bonus or at least <laughs> i hope so yeah it works nice i'm i did see one pike full of it already wow Maybe I will I will catch that pike. It wasn't big fish. Here, here it is. Second cast on the fly and I have a pike on. How about that guys? Wow. <laughs> impressive stuff. Very, very impressive stuff. Not a big fish though. Ooh. Where are you? Bang! <laughs> I will show you that. That f Ooh. please don't run off with my fly. I spent a couple minutes tying it. Yeah, actually, that's not a bad fish. As you can see, the fly is sticking out nicely. <laughs> Probably, I would say maybe seven, eight pounds. I don't know. Maybe six, seven pounds. I don't know. Probably I will take a quick snap, just look at the mouse. Sorry about the glow, I have like a cut yesterday at home with a knife, so yeah. First fish on the fly, how about that guys? It messed up the fly as well, but I have to say, I guess the fly will survive much longer than the plastic wood, like soft silicone, awesome. Okay. I think I will take a quick snap with that pike before letting him go. Awesome! Result! Second check! Pike on! Yes! Okay, you beauty! Time to go back for you! Yeah, that's not a massive fish. They said probably 6-7 pounds. I don't know, maybe a little bit more. Thank you! Bye-bye! Alright! Let's see if we can nail another one on uh, just another cast. We'll check also my fly, how it survived. Yeah, it looks alright actually, it looks maybe even better than it looked. Like, the pike probably kind of fixed all the imperfections. Yeah, it looks alright. I was seeing that I quite like that very, very slow, like, fall through the water at the start. Really looks nice, like, and quite silent as well when the lure hits the, the water, it's very, very, like, silent. Actually, it casts all right, I just need, kind of, to practice how to cast it. You need to, like, perform fast cast, like a flick, then it goes all right. But that was impressive. Second cast, and obviously, I picked up a good area and pike was there and I nailed it pretty quickly. Still, it shows that the lure is okay. Picked up some weed, but also what I noticed that I'm not picking as much weed actually because this lure kind of sinks very, very slow. Very, very weedy area there. Maybe pike will be sitting there. Nope. Here it is. Ah, came off. It was, uh, from what I could tell, it was a smaller fish. But I have to say, I love this this fly already. Not not only because I made it myself, but just in general. It seems the pike seem seem to love it. Yeah, got one. Very very gentle take though. Very, very gentle take. Don't think it's a big fish though. Where are 
are you? Ooh, such a powerful fish. Wow. Very fast as well. Wow, nailed that fly. Absolutely nailed. Wow, here it is. The fly came out. The fly actually looks bang on still, like nothing happened to the fly at all. Awesome. So yeah, second, well I had three, four actually, like attempts already on that fly and two fish on the bank, well, or on the boat should I say. Okay, beauty, time to go back for you. No, you don't want to, come on. Thank you. Okay, you saw me catching a couple of nice fish and now it's very very good time to see how I actually made this exact fly which I was catching those pike on at home earlier last night. Let's have a look. Right, the whole idea is to try a fly on a simple hook, big hook, that's a 8 slash 0 and then mount this hook onto the chebrig. Obviously, I will need a fly on the hook first, but that's the idea I will be able to swap the weights of the chub. If I will be fishing, for example, in the river, I will be able to use very, very heavy weights. And when I will be fishing in the canal, I will be able to use very, very light weights with the same hook and with the same fly. So, let's get to it. I ordered a couple of bits from AliExpress. That's a spool holder and also plenty like of those like flashy material for fly tying different colors they are pretty cheap probably i paid for all that i don't know a couple pounds so very very cheap so i will use the white stuff first and probably i will stick with couple colors probably i will stick with the uh, Multicolor one, I guess. This one looks quite nice as well, actually. They all do look quite nice. Green looks nice. Probably will go with a multicolor one and 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 white one as as my main color. Maybe we'll put a little bit of that like dark brown or something. Yeah, that's good. We'll get everything out of the way. What I don't need. We'll grab a little bit of that. Alright, then I will grab plenty of that white stuff. Right, so again guys, uh, as it's my first fly ever, I never done that before. And if you have more experience still, please don't laugh. <laughs> we'll make it nice and even. Couple of those flashy bits. We'll align them with the white. All right. We'll mix them together a little bit. Okay, and that will be like my beginning of the fly. I will trim off all those a little bit later. As you can see, I'm not using any like fancy hook holders because I'm tying obviously a pike fly. It's a big hook, big everything. I don't need to be like super precise or anything like that. And to do everything with my hands, in this case, it's much, much quicker. I can turn my hook around as I need to. I don't have to worry too much. Again, I could be much like more precise and cleaner but as I'm doing this for the first time I'm just happy to kind of learning how to do it now I will use a bit of that stuff which is UV glue basically all you do is just put a little bit of that stuff onto your like bit which you want to get glued and 
then you put some like UV light on it and it's it's hard in a couple seconds. Super super useful. Alright, that should be okay I guess. Okay, so I have like my long tail which I want. Then I will grab like a little bit more of that stuff white stuff and then maybe a bit more than I put at the start and I will put them on top I'll even it out a little bit Again guys, it's not about being super clean or super beautiful, it's just making myself something what will catch me fish. Right, have a little bit more, now I will take even a little bit more and what I will do now, I will kinda, I want it to be a little bit more puffy, so obviously so then it will have like more volume if you like, so I will double it over this kind of piece of that streamer like fiber or whatever you call it so I will double it over just with my hands and more or less where that middle point is I will kind of attach it in the middle and make a, a, quite a few of those turns with the, with the thread it's getting a little bit messy but will look okay in a second we'll even it out a little bit a couple more making sure that it's nice and tight okay now I will like bend it back and do quite a few more of these wraps with the thread and now I have quite a bit like of volume if you like that's why it starts to look okay actually <laughs> pretty awesome I have to say pretty awesome see it's it's not super pretty I'm pretty sure you will be laughing if you are like professional or at least you did that many times you'll be laughing and thinking what he is doing they said the most important bit for me is to make sure that this fly will catch me fish and I'm sure it will That hook is super sharp, which is great. Yeah, I think I don't need many more of those fibers, white ones I mean. Now all I need to do is take some, probably I will take quite a bit of, of those brown ones. Probably I want to double them over and have like lots of them, how it will, will look, I will kind of check will kind of check it yeah it will look nice white and brown looks quite nice and I will chuck quite a bit of those like multicolor ones as well I will double up those and I won't double up those I will go like with one big chunk it should be all right we'll go in the middle of my hook over my hooks point now I'll even it out a little bit you have to be very careful because the hook is very very sharp yeah looks quite nice I have to say guys 
all those different colors do look very very beautiful yeah all right i think now it's a good time to finish it up just will and uh, cut all the bits which i don't need to make it nicer and cleaner plenty of wrap so it would be nice and strong want to catch plenty of fish on it okay now i think from what i learned the best way to like attach the or make a knot is just by using that whipping knot never done it before on the fly so we'll see if i can kind of learn how to do it don't even know if it will work kind of yeah it did great I'll trim off very very close all right and now I will use my glue to properly seal all the kind of all what I did just will make sure that it's sitting nicely before applying the glue okay let's apply the glue lots of it as well just to make sure that it won't get loose obviously like red thread would be maybe nicer here but I don't know just still learning and happy to use what I have that's actually a braided line I used that green stuff as you can see here in the shot okay that will be enough of that glue looks okay yeah looks nice actually good enough is probably the correct description for me and this one looks definitely good enough for me and it will be good enough for the fish okay seems to be right okay so I have everything sealed here now let's see at the tail how the tail looks like a little bit too long I went a little bit shorter because the hook is not as big so I want it to be more or less probably that long I guess it will be about 17 centimeters more or less okay now it's like correct length we'll make it like a little bit you know sharper if you like so it would remind of fish's tail or something And that's it pretty sure the pike will be nailing it in the water it will be looking nicely I hope maybe a little bit more want to keep those multicolored bits as much as I can I like them I hope I will like them too as well so yeah okay now all I will have to do is clean up my desk and 
hopefully catch some fish. Looks not too bad guys, I have to say, looks not too bad at all. I have like a darker top, light bottom, big hook, everything strong. All I have to do now is just attach the chip rig and it's good to go hopefully. Bang! Looks like a proper pie candy. Yeah, it just seems that that fly kind of looks messed up after you catching a fish, but then the lure actually is absolutely fine. Nothing happens to it at all. Like, yeah, awesome. Was it a weed or a small boy? I don't know yet. It was a fish. It was a fish. <laughs> two chucks, two fish hooked. Can I land it? I don't know. They love that fly, I have to say, guys. Bang. As you can see, the fly is sticking out. Bang, he's mine. She's mine. I will smash them today, I'm sure of it. It kind of feels like a... I feel like, you know, I don't know how to explain it, but it's like a good feeling. I made a lure from scratch, more or less. I'm, and next day, catching fish on it, and they love it as well. Just hooked somewhere from outside, I guess. Missed it a little bit. This one actually took the lure twice, so yeah, awesome. Quick picture before letting him go. Yes, free fish already. All right, you beauty, time to go back for you. Thank you. Bye bye. No more takes. That will be my last cast. I guess we'll have to move for sure. Unless I will get a bite. really really like this lure it's kind of glides through the water like still i can feel the lead like a little bit but it's still like here it is that was insane i did see actually that, that kind of was watching my lure was talking about it and then just was watching how that pike ate it it was insane that was insane guys i don't know if if, if you saw that on camera or not but that's insane bang Love this lure, love it. <laughs> it's still sticking out here, awesome. <laughs> yes, that fish is bleeding, so it means obviously that the hook went into the into the gill somewhere. Come on, relax, relax. I want to be quick with you, little beauty. Relax, relax, I, I have my big pliers here. Yes, I suspect that in the bottom, it's always like that when the pike gets hooked there they are bleeding very bad and quickly so you have to react very very quick that's it another probably six pounder i guess thank you keep on biting awesome i don't know how well you will be able to see but i rigged this fly on a chub weight basically i have no trace all i have is a six fluorocarbons and i have chub weight at five grams in this case and i have a fly with no weight in the fly itself attached to the chap bait and I have lots of movement and it works very very beautifully in the water. Little choke by the weeds there. Here it is. Shaking his head. Not a big fish though, probably smallest for today, like I would say maybe four, four pounds maybe, bang, she's mine. They love that fly guys, I have to say, I'm so like pleased, you know, 
as I said, it's difficult to explain, but when you kind of make something, it's, then it's like your baby. And if that ba baby performs, that's awesome. Nailed the lure as well. Bang, thank you. Little chuck along the boat, I should get one now. Here it is. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one, as I suspected. I'm using like medium heavy rods still, those spikes are not massive, but they are, as you can see guys, they are really pulling back. And I'm not like messing about with them, I'm kind of pulling them back properly. We have some weed around and some pike as well. Where are you? In the net she goes. So that's my number six, I guess. Yeah. As you can see, the the fly is still sticking out. <laughs> relax, relax, you beauty. Beautiful. She's not a happy camper at all. I'll take a quick picture before letting her go. Oh, just look at that mouse. Here it is. Hooks out. Bobless. Yeah, about six, maybe seven pounds. Thank you. And fly still looks like. I mean, sometimes after you catch a fish, it gets like dirty, but couple of chucks and it's like looks like new really really love it has some weed in it as well still working all right it's very important to talk about tackle when fishing for pike and using jig flies and big jig flies obviously you will need a powerful rod and reel because that fly will create lots and lots of drag in the water so you will need big and powerful reel as i said in my case i'm using diva fuego 4000 and the rod should be powerful as well at least medium heavy or even better like heavy class so casting rating like up to 50 grams will be ideal because as i said those big flies will create lots and lots of drag in the water so you need correct tackle to pull that kind of or to compensate for that drag and then the main line should be braid obviously or at least that's my preferred option when piking you can use very very heavy one in my case i'm using 0.18 so it will be about probably 25 pounds something like that and then on the end of that braided line i have about probably 50 60 centimeters i'm pretty sure you won't be able to see but about 50 60 centimeters of thick fluorocarbon line by thick I mean in my case that's a 0.60 and those pike aren't able to cut through that line obviously after every fish you have to check if it's very badly damaged you just cut it off and retie it but other than that you will be able to land at least like 10 fish even more before doing anything to the to the fluorocarbon bit around the rig assembly and the rig itself is very very simple I think I mentioned it already a couple of times so that's a cheb and the fly itself does not have any weight in it and the weight is in the cheb obviously and I have lots and lots of movement in between the fly and the weight itself so obviously it means that when the fish will when the fish will grab the lure or the fly there is a bigger chance that I will land it because I will have more movement more or less and the hook will be separated from the weight itself so awesome little rig That was impressive. I kind of looked somewhere else and then, and it came off again. What is happening? Now I lost probably, don't know how many fish, but in the row probably four or whatever. The hook is super sharp still. I don't know, I don't know. And this one was on the hook as well for a while, for a probably three seconds.
Are they smaller fish, the ones I'm losing? I don't really know, guys. Well, to be fair, you always lose fish no matter what, so probably I did okay, like, at the start I was landing most fish I hooked. Can I land this one? Yeah, that's a small small jack. It will be number eight for today. This one really wanted that lure. Wow. <laughs> no, it's bottom lip actually. That's it, bubbles. <laughs> Healthy little fish, very very healthy. Thank you. I wanted it to go under the dock a little bit. That was insane. <laughs> Get in you little beauty. <laughs> That's a number nine I think. Yeah. Number nine flies out. Come on, show yourself, little beauty. Thank you. <laughs> that was impressive. I just stopped. I just stopped my lure a little bit. Then was about to change the angle, and I noticed like nothing aggressive, just like a little pull on the line, more or less. And then struck, and here it is. Not yet, no. Come on. <laughs> Nearly jumped in that boat. Well, that flies. They they can't get enough of that fly for sure. Wow, guys. <laughs> Not a big fish. This one probably five pounds or so. I would say. Awesome. Just hooked. When it comes to presentation, obviously the fly, as it has so much drag in it, in the water, it will like slow down your presentation so you can be quite like jerky with your rod. As I said, that fly will create lots of drag and that, dra and that drag will kind of make that fly will like glide in the water nicely. So don't be afraid to kind of jerk the rod uh, quite aggressively and obviously experiment on the day which kind of presentation will work slower one, jerky one, or sometimes even like dragging the lure on the bottom maybe can work as well. Did you see that guys? I actually got scared. I nearly fell into the, into the canal. <laughs> Wow, that pike really scared it out of me. Uh, I was thinking that I will get it if if it's like aggressive and feeding, and yeah, got got him second check. <laughs> Nice fish. Ooh. <laughs> Come on, get in that net. Yes. Pretty sure that will be the same fish which which sp spooked me. Actually fatty, probably eight pounds it will be more or less. Hooked nicely in the corner there, barbless hook. <laughs> Thank you. Go back. Aggressive beast. Another one. Maybe it wasn't the same fish which spooked me. Maybe it was, it was this one. Get in that net. We'll take a quick picture with you, beauty. I know actually you spat out that fly, so you can go back as well. 
maybe. 30 pounds, maybe. Thank you. That was insane. Did you see that, guys? I mean, <laughs> I was lifting out and that fish was so slow. I can't believe. As you can see, guys, I'm paddling back home. I had very, very good days fishing. I hope you enjoyed watching it as I enjoyed filming it and catching those fish on the fly I made. So yeah, they said that fly is very, very good lure for pike and pike seems to love it. And also I have to say that it's like more durable that flies than let's say soft silicone lures. After I caught lots of fish that fly still looks like brand new and I will be able to catch many many more fish on the same fly. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it again. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.